Hey everybody, I'm Bill and I'm on the water. Here we are at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and we're at the Ranger Tent and we're checking out the R25. A beautiful weekend cruiser, totally affordable and ready for you. This R25, wildly popular. It's got a Yamaha 250 on it. You know, this is a nice little weekend boat, very popular. A lot of changes going on in the industry in this kind of modified mini yacht. A lot of people are transitioning from bigger boats to a nice little cruiser like this. So this beautiful Ranger Tug does about 38 and it cruises around 27. It's got around a range of 180 miles. It's got a 99 gallon fuel tank. And this thing, it has everything you would need for a weekend or extended stay. Look at the aft cabin here. Great egress from that huge transom on the back. Nice handlebar ladders to get up, whether you're stepping on from the dock or maybe using it while you're in the water, great assist to get back onto the boat. Storage everywhere you look, plenty of room here out in the aft cabin. We have flip up and flip down seating, gives you more space, maybe you want to fish. Hey, you catch that fish, throw it right up here on the back summer kitchen, got a little electric grill going on, that Kenyan electric grill, it'll fire right up. You'll be cooking that tuna before you know it. So as we step into the pilot house, there's a lot of things going on here. And for like $150,000, $160,000, you can accommodate five or six people for the weekend. This is incredible. First of all, look at the wood grain finish. Look at that table. Of course, this, art, this articulates down, converts to a berth, modified seating everywhere. You can flip, and, uh, flip up and down these backrests so they can be forward facing or aft facing wherever you look and then convert it for a berth in the evening. A nice little dinette. So you have an uh, interior grill here. Again, a canyon grill. It's a glass top range. You have storage everywhere you look. Nice size refrigerator for this size vessel. And of course you have a microwave going on here. So as we step up to the helm, look at the visibility on this tug. Again, beautiful. Nice little porthole for that touch, that tugboat touch. Beautiful wood accents up here. The visibility is great. You got hatches above for sunlight and ventilation. Four of them on the interior. And then you have some forward facing glass up front again to give you better lighting into the cabin, natural light. Who doesn't love it? So as we look at the helm here, of course we have our Yamaha controls. All your switches right at hand. You have a step up helm here to get great visibility. And of course your Garmin screen to give you all your controls. We have air conditioning on this boat and it has a bank of lithium batteries. And actually those lithium batteries will give you eight hours of air conditioning overnight. Doesn't beat it. You don't have a generator going, no extra noise, no extra fuel. So as we look at this beautifully designed helm seat, nicely detailed, very comfortable. Hey, this is a lot going on in here. You got great sound system going, rope lighting. So let's step in to this forward berth. Look at how massive this is. This is a 25 foot vessel, 25 feet. You get a lot going on here, very spacious. Not bad for a V-berth. Look at how wide it is. You got a TV, you got a closet, we got a storage room. And of course, we have a beautiful head here. Look at the woodwork again in here. Beautifully detailed, articulating mirror that'll pop out. Plenty of room. Man, the wood grain finish, they've done a, a nice job. These boats are out of Washington. Mm, you can just smell that West Coast pine. Also, this helm seat flips down when you're not underway to give you more uh, prep area for the kitchen, just more space in general. Everything is totally convertible here. It just gives you a massive amount of space. Speaking of convertible, this whole area flips up. What do we find under here? We find another surprise berth. Look at that. So you get a couple people in here for the night. If you have a couple extras on board, all your electronic control for the boat, your battery switches, easy access and again you have that lithium power so you can spend the weekend eight hours of air conditioning you're back on the boat the next day you're underway batteries are recharged 
and you don't have to worry about that generator. And again, plenty of storage on this boat. So how about that Ranger? Totally convertible, amazing amount of usage of space in there. And this is a great boat, boat for getting into boating for a weekender. And people that want to step down from a larger boat, maybe want a little simpler vessel, this is the one for you because it's just ease of use. It's got an outboard on the back. It's got lithium ion batteries. So little to take care of here. You just wash it and go for the weekend. So if you're looking for more information, I'm gonna put the link below to Ranger Tugs. Just click on it and check out the website. More importantly, go see your local, your local dealer. You need to step aboard this vessel to see how everything works, see how everything maneuvers inside. A lot of things going on in this vessel. You need to check it out for yourself. Just remember, I'm your source for everything that's boating, yachting, everything to do that waterfront lifestyle because I'm Bill and I'm on the water. Hey guys, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit like and more importantly, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm your source for everything that's boating, yachting, everything to do that waterfront lifestyle. All right, I'm Bill and I'm on the water. Catch you next time, guys.